Okay. In this tutorial, we're going to be actually defining our background object. We're going to be styling our background for our mini site. And um, we'll be styling it up. I'm going, to show, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be showing you how you're going to use a pattern, a predefined pattern, to pattern your background. I'm also going to be showing you how to apply basic styles to your object. Now, to begin with, you open the document you've been working on since the beginning of the tutorial. Open it up. Then um, go into your resource folder. I recall this is my resource folder, mine is on my desktop. You're going to locate the file called Stripe. Double click it. And um, open it with Photoshop. Open it in Photoshop. And there's the file. To begin with, we're going to set this file, this image right here, as a pattern, as a preset pattern for our design. I want to show you how, how, how we can use to change colors, how we can change the colors of this pattern right here in Photoshop while we're using the work. Okay, so what we're going to do now is um, after opening up the document, you're going to go over to Edit in your file menu. Click on Edit, scroll down, and define, and click on Define Pattern right here. Okay, specify any name you want to use for it. I tend to leave things like the default name in. Click on OK, and then um, we have that already. After doing that, just close this up, go back to our document, click on your Move Tool. This is the Move Tool right over here. And um, click on your layers palette, locate this dialog box called layers, layers palette. If you don't have yours there, just go over to your windows, scroll down and locate layers. You see that? Locate layers. Okay. Now, um, you're going to drag this padlock icon over here. You're going to just drag it down into the the recycle bin icon over here. What this does is essentially it converts your background layer into a working layer. So you can actually make changes to it and not just um, basic changes. Okay, now we're gonna apply styling to this. We're gonna apply some basic styling to this. So apply styling to this, what you, what you should do is to right click on it. Right click on it just once, right click, click on blending options, blending options. But if, after clicking on blending option, you're going to go back to pattern overlay. See what I just did? This is the default Photoshop pattern for my own Photoshop. Now, what you're going to do is to click on this little arrow over here, close to the pattern, right over here. Click on it. And um, locate the image, the pattern we added earlier. This is mine. Can you see that? It's been applied automatically to all our documents, to all the layer. Okay, now we add that out of the way. What we're going to do next, I'm going to show you how to use color overlay to change the colors of the pattern. Now you're going to come right back into your layers, right click on it, click on blending options, click on color overlay. See what just, that just did? It replaced our pattern background with the default red color from Photoshop. What you should do is to change the blend mode. This is the blend mode right over here. Change it from normal to overlay. You see that? Overlay. Now you could you could scroll through all the different blend options to get different effects. I'm going to scroll through that using my arrow keys up and down. Up, 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 up. It is up. Until I have the color variation I want. Now this is red. I just added the color variation I was going for, but in the second time, I think I'm, I'm going to go for green. Okay. I'm going to go for green, but not so much of the green. A little bit dull because of the background. Now, okay. Okay. Now, we've successfully changed the color of our initial pattern. So, our initial pattern 
from the blue shades of blue to basic shades of um, green with the color of the power of the color overlay now that's that now we're going to apply our center where it's going to hold our main side we're going to style it up right here to do this I need you to go over here locate the rectangle tool in your tool palette this is the rectangle tool locate it locate the rounded rectangle tool under the rectangle tool menu you can either you locate it using the U shortcut or just simply use your eye to scout through the tool menu until you see what you locate it now select that with the rounded rectangle let, let the rounded rectangle you're going to click on this first guide we placed here initially you're going to drag down sorry excuse me we need to specify just press ctrl z to undo we need to specify our radius our curve radius the size of the radius the curve of the edges of the rectangle i typically use 20 pixels for all my curve rectangles they tend to appear where and don't look too exaggerated now this is a 20 pixel curve rectangle drawn from the top of my document to the end ensure your tool preset your rectangle tool option this option here right here is ticked ensure this option right here is ticked okay now after drawing this now we have our basic basic layout setup this is going to be our background image it's going to be our background for our website and this is going to be the part that's going to hold all the main all the main sites everything the site is going to contain so in the next step we're going to be styling the header we're going to be deciding what our header is going to look like i'm going to be introducing you to some key concepts in header designs and in mini site header designs and then Basically, we're going to think of the editor in the next video. So, just try and follow up this area. Experiment with the blending option. The blending option. Recall how we got there. On this layer, click on this layer. The down layer that's applied to blending option. Um, play around with the color overlay blending mode. Play around with it. Just play around with it and see what you can get. So, um, to, to learn in Photoshop faster, it's actually experimentation. Try out different colors. Try out different colors. Don't just stick to what I'm telling you. Feel free to experiment. You get lost. Go back to the start of the way again. And that's how, how you learn. Okay. Okay, so that's just basically it. Now I'm just gonna go get ready for my next for the next video. So for the meantime, make sure you go over this, make sure you, you get to this step so you understand every concept. Make sure you try out each and every one of these blending modes. Make sure you try out at least five colors on this. And see which one you like most. See which one that suits you best. Okay, so see you when I get back. Thank you very much.